Hello. What's Welcome. up, loners? Welcome back to episode <laughs> 35. <laughs> Roll that intro. back again and uh hope you missed us you know um if you haven't don't forget to like and subscribe hey. also jump over to our blog oh, channel. channel what are you gonna say that yeah, I w- yeah what you said cool go to our blog channel please just read the <laughs> click that red button you don't have to you don't, <laughs> wa- don't even watch anything <laughs> but support. you might enjoy it if you watch you know maybe maybe not but um it's more like it's just us playing around having fun yeah you know, uh, lighthearted, some shits and gigs. All right. Okay. Today we are watching <laughs> a video top tens, uh, by top tens. Yeah. I'll put the original video in the description. Uh, it's 11 common things that don't exist outside the USA. So let's see what, what we get into here. Uh, how could it be common if they don't exist outside? It's common, common things for us. And I think that don't exist out there. All right. And here we go. Chocolate chip cookies, dental floss, traffic lights, all great American inventions. These things originated in America but are now all over the world. But if you think that everything American is in every other country, then you'd be wrong. There are some things you just don't see outside of the USA. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at 11 common things that don't exist outside the USA. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first, we have medical and lawyer ads. If you're not from the USA but have gone to visit, I'm sure you switched on the TV and heard this phrase. Ask your doctor if this product is right for you. And then most likely a big list of scary warnings and side effects. This is something that only happens in America and it's advertising for medical products. Outside the USA, it's weird to see commercials for medical related things. Most people would just go to their- So, um, we talked about this before in another one, but there was a, we were on like Hulu and the ad that came up was like for like a birth control. Mm-hmm. And it was like talking about like, how you might die. <laughs> yeah. It gave like 50 reasons that you might like die or get super sick. My favorite thing is when they look all happy and like thriving. But meanwhile, like the disclaimer is saying that all these things that could go wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's like happy music yeah. and people are They're just like, like running in a field. Yeah. <laughs> They're all they're meeting up with their friends for brunch, and then it's just meanwhile like the most morbid disclaimer being said over it. Yeah. So in like a happy voice, it's yeah, so funny. It's so funny. Uh, it's actually not funny, but it's well, like, kind yeah, of funny yeah. at the same time. Um, but yeah, it's stupid that like um, I was telling you the other day when we saw the ad too. I was like, I don't think many people hear an ad about medicine and they genuinely are like, you know what? I'm gonna ask my doctor about that. I wonder like, though. I'm sure some if people the do. Doctor doesn't prescribe it. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to recommend it. You're, that's your job. It's yeah. to tell me what to take. But it does seem like they're trying to push people to go ask their doctors about it. Super weird. Yeah. Doctor and get what their doctor suggests. But in the USA, it's common to see medical things advertised as if they were any other product. But medical ads aren't the only odd advertising you'll see in the USA. Another thing you'll often see is adverts for lawyers. I'm not talking about Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad. Believe it or not, that's not just in TV shows. In the USA, lawyers really do advertise on TV. Did you know that 60% of the world's lawyers reside in the USA? And the USA is said to be the most litigious country in the world. This means the most lawsuits come from inside the USA. Next up is spray cheese. Well, that is true though. Larry H. Parker. Yeah. You're in good hands. Yeah, there's That's, a, wait, is, that, is that what he says? You're in good hands? Or I is that know. somebody else? It sounds like Allstate. Allstate, you're in good hands. <laughs> Whatever. Insurance commercials, too. Yeah. Um, there's Larry a lot. H. Parker, we fight for you. Yeah, that, that's true. That's what that's what they say. Yeah. I think we drive by the billboard. And then who's that one guy that you see everywhere? The Hispanic guy with his hair gelled back, and he always has like the Lakers he's promoting. I don't know. He says he's sponsored by the Lakers. I don't know. Or maybe he sponsors the Lakers. I don't fucking know. Um, it's gonna it's gonna bother me, but I'm gonna you, see you'll it today. You'll figure it out, yeah. Um, yeah, it's like There's, they're like characters. Yeah. The lo- a lot of the big shot lawyers, they're like they're just characters. You'll see billboards. Uh. There's billboards everywhere. Commercials. Lawyers, yeah. 
it's very like gimmicky i would yeah. say but i will say if knock on wood you are in a crisis and you need certain lawyers you're gonna be like what's that number it's eight one 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 because of the jingle they do put like the easiest numbers yeah. too yeah i mean that's smart from them but i have, kind of find it hard business. to believe that other countries don't have lawyer promotions like advertisements for lawyers i don't find that hard to believe at all <laughs> why like it's it's weird it's, like i said it's gimmicky yeah I it guess doesn't come true. off as genuine it comes off as like scammy in a way i'm not saying maybe we're just so used to it yeah i'm not saying that these lawyers are scams i'm not saying that at all because i'm sure they have a great like you know yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. stuff but it's just weird to be sold about like like in that way you i know get what that I mean? it's yeah weird. i get that i get that yeah let's see anyway when you think of cheese, you probably think France. Luxurious French cheese is a staple of fine dining around the world. But the USA has a different kind of dairy-based delicacy. That is, spray cheese. Cheese is eaten a lot in the USA. In fact, the USA is the world's largest consumer of cheese. But America also <laughs> loves convenience, and that's why cheese can be bought in a can in the USA. Now, spray cheese is actually <laughs> only 51% cheese. Sure. By law, to call a product what it is, it must be at least half that product. So that's why it's only 51% cheese, not a percentage higher. The other 49% is flavorings, <laughs> protein, and ingredients. Spray cheese has been big in what? the USA <laughs> since the 90s. I thought it was like, I was thought it was gonna be like oils. It's probably like oil and cheese. I don't know. <laughs> Proteins. But That's so say, vague. I know. I will say I love spray cheese when I was a kid. <laughs> Me too. Spray it in your mouth. Spray it on some crackers. Yeah, crackers. That was, that was amazing. It's disgusting, but it was so good. And you're, it's just like convenient. Yeah. Looking back, fun. yeah. Looking back, I'm like, fuck that. That shit is so artificial. Oh yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. Um, I actually next time we're grocery shopping, I kind of want to look to see if they have it. They may not have it at Trader Joe's. No, what like Vons? Vons, they probably have it. Yeah. yeah, I know they're not gonna have it at Trader <laughs> Joe's. And shit. Um, if I don't know if Trader Joe's is like other countries, I have no but idea. it's it's kind of like Aldi's I hear. So okay, okay. Anyway, yeah. Um, but like Vons or something would have it if the, if it even exists. Yeah. I don't even think it exists anymore. 1960s, and it's even sold in various flavors. For example, cheddar, bacon, and even American flavor. <laughs> huh, I wonder what that is. Flavor. Next up is garbage disposals. I'm sure you've seen in movies and TV shows how Americans throw their food scraps into the sink. You may think, what happens to them? Do they just sit there? Well, no, they go into what's called a garbage disposal. These things actually only exist in the USA. In other countries, food scraps would be put in the kitchen bin. But why is it that only in America do they use garbage disposals? Well, the reason why is because in many other countries, it's banned. This is because it's not very environmentally friendly. That's because all of the food is mixed in with the general water waste. This then at some point must be filtered out. So it wastes a lot of energy, but it is convenient. Oh, wow. Wait. I didn't know that. I had no idea, but I still had to think that there's other countries that have garbage disposals. Maybe um, not. I don't know. I thought it would be unsafe for like, I thought it would be unsafe. That's why it'd be illegal. Like, yeah. for, you know, but I did. And this is only recently. I did see someone on TikTok say that, like, I think she was in the UK that they don't have it. And she was actually shocked to see that we had it. Huh. And I was just like, wait, what? Yeah. Like, I thought everywhere had garbage disposals. It's honestly kind of a bad habit, though, because oh. it messes up the pipes. Like, or, like, it gets uh, clogged a lot. I will say, I don't know anyone that, like, I mean, not that I've seen, that, like, pours food down the garbage disposal. <laughs> like, people avoid doing that. Of course it happens, and it's convenient if, like, something does, you know... Like, if something is down there, then it is convenient to have, like, a switch know, that kind of, like, does whatever yeah. it's doing. Um, I fucked up in our last apartment. I, what I did so, you put down there? But we didn't have a garbage disposal in the in our three apartments ago. In the one in, in Hollywood. Okay. We didn't have a garbage disposal. So, I've, I don't I'd, remember. Back in my, where I grew up, too, we didn't have garbage. I've never ran into a garbage disposal, like, barely, that we have to the use house one. you grew up in, you never had I one? probably did, but my mom never used it, and I never used it either. You probably had no idea, because you weren't doing dishes or doing anything that had to use it. Yeah. Okay, pretty much, You yes. were a kid, okay? Okay, Keep going. Uh -huh. so then when I first ran in, uh, when I was using the garbage disposal, <laughs> I threw, like, a whole piece of bad food in there, and it just fucked it up. 
I don't remember, but that doesn't surprise me. That is something. That's you when the done. guy, the guy, had to go on the roof and put like the the snake through and like. Oh, I did so. Yeah, he was there for like five hours trying to fix what it. What did you put in there? I want to know. Like a bad piece of chicken or something. You're so gross. <laughs> That's called laziness. Okay. It, and I feel really bad. I know I shouldn't have done that, and it was it's a mistake. I learned from it, but. That's gross. Yeah. Anyway. Next stop is college Close. sports. Every country loves sports. Whether it's cricket in India, football in Spain, or baseball in the USA. But only in the USA are they obsessed with college sports. Every country loves professional sport leagues, and the USA is no exception. But one thing that's different about the USA is that they love college sports mm. as much as regular professional sports. No other country gets behind colleges as much as the USA does. If you ask people in other countries if they can name a college team of any other sport, chances are they can't. In other countries, college sports are not broadcast on TV. And they also don't make any money at all, as opposed to the millions made in US college sports. In the USA, college football brings in thousands of spectators to fill up stadiums. But in other countries, college football games are lucky if they even get the friends and family of the people involved watching. Wow. Also, the biggest stadiums in the USA are pretty much all college football stadiums. Out of the top 15 biggest stadiums in the USA, all 15 are college football stadiums. The largest of which being the Michigan Stadium, which can hold over 100,000 fans. Wow. Next up is White Teeth. So, that is so true. Um, like college it's called like march madness well their their college when sports they, here is fucking well, football particularly it's huge it's basketball and football yeah. I, I feel like are huge um especially like in the midwest yeah 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 um yeah. they look at the athletes there like like celebrities like town celebrities yeah yeah um i don't think it's super big on like bigger cities like i don't think you don't take know. it as seriously i think here they're pretty usc and all of them they're In pretty UCLA. big yeah they're pretty i guess you're right they yeah. are um yeah I but guess i guess it's just right. not as much of a business in other places yeah i mean if you can make money well, that's that's the number one goal out here yeah yeah but yeah i mean if people enjoy what they enjoy i will say though like a lot of the families i notice more in the midwest yeah are yeah die hard yeah because those boys are, those boys will, are huge <laughs> and their kids will go to school yeah where their parents want their like their if like you have a football player kid or a basketball player kid who you want to be like a star you know has potential mm, they yeah, will yeah. make sure they get into the college that they that the parent wants them to yeah because they want to you know they have like ties to that team they have like loyalty to it i also think that a lot of parents uh try to live like vicariously through i know it's kind of sad the kids because if they didn't get that scholarship for sports if they didn't do yeah. that blah blah blah. it's also it's kind of like a status thing too yeah and i'm sure some of them also just want to see their kid be successful at something which but, is normal yeah. but yeah. anyway white teeth right. have you ever wondered why all americans seem to have great white teeth it seems for some reason people in the usa are obsessed with getting the perfect teeth and by perfect i mean white and straight Americans actually spend more money than any other country to make sure their teeth are white and straight. But despite all the money that's spent on getting white and straight teeth, that does not necessarily mean they're more healthy. For example, the British are often mocked for their bad teeth. But according to a Harvard University study, British teeth are actually more healthy than American teeth. Hmm. Trust me, not all Brits not look surprised. like Austin Powers. One reason why this may be is because in the UK, under 18s can get braces for free. However, in America, what? they're very expensive, yeah. and there's a good reason for that. According to a study by New York Mag in the USA, good teeth can be the difference between getting a second date and not. Apparently, 38% of Americans will turn someone right. down for a second date if they have bad thing. teeth. And 60% of Americans say they perceive someone as smarter if they have straight white teeth. Next up is you know that's kind of funny. I don't consider people smarter. I consider you more privileged because I feel like dental out here is, is a privilege, a luxury yeah. out here. Wait, I had no idea that it it was free in I, the other I place before you're 18. Yeah, um, insurance covers it. Like it's par it's it's considered like um, huh, like a necessity. Yeah, you know. And but I feel like out here, so many people have like veneers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going through that right now. A lot. That's of true. I wonder if straightening your teeth from their original places actually weakens them. I don't know. I I think everyone's different. I feel like there are people who, um. It maybe that'll happen, but I don't think it's common. You know. 
No, I just I don't know. So it's I'm kind of curious because like maybe that's why they got as healthier because over there I don't think as many people do corrections to their uh, stuff. You know what I mean? They that. just kind of keep it like how it naturally is. No, I mean they have braces. I think out here it's um, because insurance already costs money so maybe a lot of people aren't you know don't have insurance for that until they become older yeah. and then all of a sudden you're just like making up for everything that makes sense yeah um i mean i don't know black friday if you're not from the usa you may not understand why everyone goes so crazy on this day every single year black friday is the name given to the day after thanksgiving which is another american holiday the term Black Friday came about because of the amount of accidents and sometimes even violence shoppers create. People go crazy for all the deals in the stores and sometimes there are riots just to get into a shop. Black Friday has expanded to other countries, for example the UK. But videos of Black Friday in other countries have gone viral for different reasons. That's because no one really cares about Black Friday in other countries. And shops often no only way. get one or two extra visitors than on a normal day. Billions of dollars are spent in the USA every time Black Friday rolls around. But it seems the rest of the world just isn't into it. Next up is Solo Cups. Wait. What? I guess that makes sense because they do like a... Since ho it's, I think it's based off of Thanksgiving then. They package it as like um, get early Christmas shopping done. But it's also probably because of like a uh, it, since it's it's always after the the, the Friday after. after Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's the so day it's after. So it's probably based off of Thanksgiving. I have zero idea, honestly. I just know that a lot of companies pretend that everything's like on sale and there's like amazing deals and like <laughs> it starts at like midnight. So yeah. that's a lot of people will like camp out the night before at like Best Buy. I remember a couple times my friends in high school. Um, I'm not gonna call them privileged, but they definitely had a lot more than I did. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. yeah. But um they would at thanksgiving they would wait outside like best buy to get like technology stuff and like we my sister and i sometimes would go just because we're like yeah we're bored we're kids we want to hang out with our friends and um it was fun like to stay up all night just to like go. yeah I never it's, some, it's something anything. to do yeah or like the malls are flooded from midnight and then so you can make sure you get the the uh make sure you get one of the special ipods or whatever the yeah. fuck was on sale that day um and it was like Target and the mall and stuff. And yeah. I've only seen videos of people being like crazy when they go into somewhere and like running yeah, over people. Yeah, they and like shit. trample each other and stuff. It's I've never actually seen that happen in person. But I've never, I don't think I've gone to the store I when it's like seen, Black Friday and all that. I haven't seen like people get hurt trampled, but I've definitely seen people like run in, in yeah. the stores and stuff. And it's <laughs> so, it's so funny. And it's like anxiety inducing. Like, um, but it's entertaining at the yeah. same time if yeah, you're yeah. not like, in if the you're not of set, it. yeah. If you're not set on getting something before someone yeah. else, like I, I, like a spectator, it's hilarious. Yeah. Um, but it's so stupid. I yeah. feel like the deals, especially nowadays, are nothing. It's like, okay, that was like ten percent off the actual price. Yeah, it's but they, true. I think they just lie. I think they say that it's. Uh, I think they lie. I think they say that it's twenty five percent off, but yeah. it's really not. I agree. I think so too. I don't think it's worth it anymore. Plus Cyber Monday. Yeah. Stay at home and order shit online. I know, if honestly. If you really want to order anything. It's a better deal. If you're American, this may come as a surprise. But... We do have overconsumption in this country, though. I will say that. Red Solo Cups are seen as a very American thing. In movies and TV shows, everyone drinks out of them at parties. And many tourists actually bring back a Red Solo Cup to their own countries when going to America. <laughs> That's because it's seen as a piece of American iconography, although many Americans don't realize this. In other countries, people simply drink from beer bottles or glasses, but in the USA, they use red yeah. plastic Solo Cups. Next up is free refill. I think that's a, I think at they're like parties, exaggerating. But, but I, I remember in high school, we did a lot, like if you were playing beer pong and stuff okay, like that. Okay, I have a question yeah. for anyone in the UK or Europe. Okay. If you're at a party with like 60 people, like a holiday mm, party, yeah. are you guys drinking out of glass pints? No, and, like, I mugs? doubt they're getting that many. You don't know. They, that's what they made it sound like. Like in American movies, parties. Maybe, they're, maybe. The Red Solo Clubs also, um, the lines on them are measurements. So I had some no of them idea. are shots. Some, yeah. No one fucking uses it for that. Let's be real. But it's just there. Yeah. And we also use it for beer pong because they're convenient for yeah. beer pong. That's what I've seen them the most as. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. 
When I was dining in the Wait, USA one. One more thing. We're not using the, for the most part, people aren't using these to just like drink out of and th they're for like parties. Like it, it's yeah, not, yeah, it's yeah. not like a, you're sitting at home with a fucking red solo. Cup. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's what it sounded like. Once a waiter came up to me and said, would you like me to refill your drink? I said no because the drink was kind of expensive and they looked at me like I was crazy. That's because it is typical in any American restaurant to have a free refill. In other countries, you'd need to pay if you wanted extra drink, but not in the USA. In other countries, if you pay for one drink, that's what you get. And many Europeans say that they find it very weird when they go to the USA and their glass gets refilled even if they don't ask. But personally, I love it. I'm never gonna turn down a free drink. <laughs> and finally on the list, we have Flax. It's not free alcohol beverage, by the way. I it's know they free did make fountain, it look like it was free, yeah. Fountain drinks, water, yeah. coffee. Yep. If there's liquor in there, you're paying per glass. Yeah. <laughs> Every country has their flag, but no one shows off their flag more than the USA. If you drive <laughs> around the USA, it's common to see people flying the American flag on their homes. Also, many buildings, yeah. schools, and businesses will have an American flag. This is something you don't see in any other country. According to research, over 150 million American flags are sold every year. And it's not exactly known why people in the USA love to show their flag off so much. Worldwide, the USA flag is the second most famous flag after the Union Jack. But no other country waves their flag as much as they do in the USA. Vote in the poll in the top right corner the most interesting common thing that doesn't exist outside the USA. I think it's spray cheese, as I'd really like to try that someday. If you guys want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. Okay. Um. Don't try the cheese in the bottle. It's <laughs> don't not try the good, cheese. But, um. It just tastes like, it tastes like artificial. Like, it just tastes like fake. It, it tastes like wet plastic. I mean, after probably, if you're not, if you're in a certain place in Europe, you're going to taste it and be like, wow, this tastes like fucking plastic. It tastes or like, like melted craft cheese. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. They might not have had craft cheese because that's an American cheese too. Yeah, that's true. And that shit American tastes like, cheese is disgusting. that shit tastes like plastic. toxic. Okay. Uh, the flag thing, spot on. Yeah. It, again, it's it, not again, but like I feel like we've said this before. It's mainly like conservative areas. You'll see a lot of people. Shit, it's out here flags. too. I drove through a neighborhood the other That's day. True. I drove through a neighborhood, and I think they all made like a pact to live in the I neighborhood. Think it was the they homeowners. all had to fly <laughs> the flag. There I was think, flags on every single house. I think it was the HOA that like said, "Hey guys." No way, you think? I'll give you free flags, but you know we're gonna. It was weird. They, I've seen those neighborhoods. They all have the same exact one. Yeah. It's not like they're a little different in size. Yeah. Um, which it's weird. It's like you're in that show where like everything is like the same. What was that? I forget. There's like some shows where like everything is like identical. Oh, kind of like uh, I don't show know. weeds. When, okay. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it's not uncommon to see someone yeah. having an American flag, which we also think is fucking weird. Yeah, a lot of people have them like on their cars, or they'll have them like on a on a jacket, a bumper or like sticker. Yeah, it happens a lot. You see that a lot. A hat, yeah. bandana. Yeah. It, it's like American merch. Yeah. Why we know we know <laughs> you're here. Why, why do you need to remind us where we are? <laughs> we know. You don't think it's weird? In case they it, forget. You can't forget. <laughs> I'm getting. You just Linda. turn your head. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> For, and that's just that's in a city. Yeah. I feel like in um. Yeah, Other I areas, know. they're everywhere. Yeah. Sometimes you'll drive, we'll be on a road trip, and we'll just like go through a random rural town. Yeah. And you'll see a corner, and someone's selling like a shit ton of like. Well, Trump I think flags. I think we've we've underestimated how conservative California is actually. It's more North California. That's what I'm saying. When you get out of LA City and LA in general, it becomes way different. Yeah, well, we're still a blue state, so. Yeah, because they're so it's so populated within that LA County, I think. Yeah, every hub is a little different. Um, yeah. But I mean, that was interesting. I feel like that video was like the perfect length and the perfect amount of information. And I was like, "Good job, top nice, tens. top tens." But yeah, let us know if wherever you guys are at, like, um, if these things do exist over there, and it was wrong, like, let us know in the comments and everything. Don't I just want to know about that cup. I want to know if you guys have like. I've heard something of where like certain places will take that back as like a souvenir, as like an American never souvenir. Never heard that before. Yeah. It is not worth it. <laughs> cheap little plastic cup. <laughs> but yeah, um, like, don't. What do, you, what do they do with it? I don't do know. You guys just, like grow, use they, it as a They planter? put it up in like a in a, a glass a cube, shrine. a glass cube, and they just put it there. It's like on the mantle. <laughs> and with an American flag in the back, it says America. Right. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but don't forget to like and subscribe. Go follow our blog channel. Thanks for sticking with us. And yeah. Keep, take it easy, see loners. You when we see you. See you next time.